What's up, guys? What's going on? It's your boy back in here again. And today, today we're going to talk about a little something different. I'm going I'm to go over a few series of uh, The Godfather. And the uh, reason I'm doing this is because we need to go back a little bit and, and look at how the behavior of some of the women that he dealt with back in 21, 22, that now has gone way above. But it's in the same thing. Like women thinking higher, but they're not changing anything about themselves. So let's just check this one out. And uh, this is going to be a two-part. And let's just, you guys let me know what you think as it goes. All right? Let's get it. Your first name. And how old are you, Christina? And what are you offended about? She's going to come on. The video of the woman that you had talked mm -hmm. to. Um, so after that, I had watched a couple of your other videos. Um, one of them was being fat and alone. And I was offended by that. Um, I am a big girl. Um, you want to know I am 280. Dress size is a size 20. And... My thing is, is like, why do you feel like being fat equals alone? Okay. So you see her dilemma already. She's a big girl. She's a big girl. Now she's feeling offended on something he said. Not directly to her. Just speaking on his podcast. But it always gets me how these women get so offended by just watching his content you get so offended that you wait, sit in a queue just for him to select you so you can tell him how bad you offended him other than just flipping the station off. Turn the podcast off. It makes no sense to me how you want to be so offended so you will stay on there so you can vent to him how your feelings are. And that's the dumbest thing. Well, let's get back to it. It's a lot on this one, on this chick here. Hey, y'all, make sure y'all hit that subscribe, like, and share. And make the algorithms keep moving because YouTube is tripping right now. So make sure y'all hit those buttons. Make sure y'all hit that notification bell. And let's go. Did you watch the podcast? Yes, I did. What did I say? I remember you saying something about BMI and like the standard of beauty. Well, not standard of beauty, but like... Um, uh, like she don't even know. Some women, like most women are like bigger than the average male mm -hmm. something well, like that i don't remember everything but i was like well, but but you're but you're offended yes right about what? i'm fat i'm yeah. not afraid to say that yeah um but, but and are and are you married yes i am okay then you shouldn't have a problem why are you calling see, I, see, see hold on listen i'll let you speak mm -hmm. if you are so self-professed fat and married, by definition, that means you're not alone, correct? Correct. Then you weren't in the target market for the podcast, right? I mean, I'm not in the target market. You weren't for in the target market for the podcast, right? Correct. But it's then, still no. She called in just to say, oh, you lying because look at me. I'm fat and I found a husband. That's not what nobody ever said. Because you can, because there are men that like big women. Let's be real. So it's not like you can't find no one. It's just a thing that some of you are looking for guys out of your lead, and then you holding holding strong on that until you are by yourself. So that's what he's saying. He's not saying you can't find nobody. You definitely can, but just that person may not be who you really want or in your mind you think you don't want. You know, y'all out here wanting these six foot five supermodels. And you sitting over here 300, 400 pounds, 5'5". Five, five. They're not going to happen, lady. It's just not going to happen. But like you said, you're not in the target. You're not alone. you married. So why are you calling? Oh, no, no, man. Though. You don't just get to talk over me. That would be just like saying, I'm a vegetarian for, for, for spiritual reasons. But you don't go into a steakhouse and say, I'm offended that you say you serve meat. You just don't go to the steakhouse. 
take why are you if you're married why are you on a relationship podcast anyway i find it entertaining to be honest then right. you should just watch it so i'm gonna ask you a question then mm -hmm. as though you are here would you suggest most women become almost 300 pounds and try to find a husband <laughs> no oh why not um for health reasons honestly oh but, but why not i know mm. for trying to find a husband um, I mean, unless they find one of those men that likes that, then that's on them. So that, um, no, 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 but, no. So that do, do most men like that? To be honest. Well, most men, I would say no. Okay. What percentage of men would you say do like that? 10. 10%. So that means 90% of men don't. So, True. By, so by logic, if 90% of men are cut off from you just because of weight alone, that means you have a large chance of ending up alone. Lose the weight. It's the only way to fix it. True. So you agree with me? Yes. So you shouldn't be offended? I mean... If you agree with I, me, you shouldn't be offended. Right. I'm offended because I'm a big woman. Why? You chose to be your size. I did chose. I did okay, choose. Okay, well, then, then congratulations. You chose to be your size. You're married. Why do you? Why do women like yourself go looking for ways to be offended? Go off and be happy with your win. How about that? That's I get it, I but I'm just understood. like... But no, no, but no, you don't. See, I, I know offense, man, but you're married. You shouldn't have other things to do other than be offended by a podcast that one is not directed towards you, two that you agree with. This is insane. Thank you. Come again. Yeah, right. shut you straight. Shut your shut you straight up. You can't say nothing because you know you got no right to be over here talking about being offended. <laughs> what kills me about a lot of these women? He talks about relationships. We all talk about relationships and a lady will jump on there that's married and argue with everything. Why are you here? This is for people to try to help get them a better space to find someone. You supposed to have someone. And then we have had some that jump on that have a husband or a live in boyfriend and go in the other room and call one of these channels, these podcasts looking for a new man. It makes no sense, man. And you think nobody's going to see it. But she had no reason to be here. You got a husband. Why are you on here trying to argue about big girls? You just want to throw it in somebody's face. Look at me. I'm a big girl and I found me a husband. I'm not going to be alone. whoop de doo What about your big girl friends? I bet you they don't have husbands. She's laughing, y'all. And, and, and she, she laughing. She's like, God damn, he got me. That's why I'm over <laughs> here doing what I do. Have a merry, happy Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, girl. Peace out. Okay, so now he's going to roll. He, he got to let her go. So we're going to roll into the next. It was just so crazy how that woman called in just to throw it in his face that, look, I'm a big girl and I found me somebody. You can always find somebody. It just, a lot of you now want someone who doesn't want you. That's just the way it is now. And y'all arguing and sitting around by yourselves looking crazy. And then y'all get online and swear men ain't shit. But that's not the problem. There's men trying to talk to you. You just think you done got too good to be with them now. Now, this chick here coming in, she thinks she the stuff. She must look good. He didn't put them on the, on the screen. I wish he would put them up. But she's coming in with pretty girl privilege. I'm sure y'all heard of that before. But with her pretty girl privilege, she makes terrible mistakes. And this is how you end up with pretty girl privilege and bad decisions that causes your life to just go totally left. Check her out. That's your picture? That is my picture. How recent is that? Uh, last week. Hmm. You married? No. Here I am. Uh-oh. She trying to, she trying to, Starla out here throwing, she throwing, she's throwing Vogue. What's going on? What you got? <laughs> I'm going to turn my video off now. Go ahead. 
Um, so I just I have a question. So um, I don't remember when the broadcast or when the video. I just caught that. She turned her video on just so Kevin could see her and see that she's a pretty girl. And then she said, well, I'm going to turn it off now. You see what I'm saying? He wa She wanted him to see that. Oh, I'm not. I'm, I'm a pretty girl. Let's go. Video aired. But um, recently I watched one of those that was talking about what ladies, why does hype matter so much? Mm -hmm. And in that video, you said um, it, it uh, attraction doesn't matter or physical appearance or some, something like that. I, I I don't remember your words verbatim. I don't want to misquote you, but you said it doesn't matter. And so tonight we're talking about hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, a man's height doesn't matter. Uh, right. Okay, go ahead. Well, the, the, the topic of the video was ladies, why does a man's ma height matter so much or something right. like that. Right. So, and in that video, part of what I heard you say was attraction doesn't really matter. No, no, I never say that. Oh, so maybe I'm, I'm, maybe I'm, maybe yeah, I I'm an image that. consultant. So I would never my say question. that. I wanted you to clarify. So yeah. I misunderstood. What did you mean then? Well, I didn't say that. I'm an image consultant. Image matters. Appearance matters. Um, and I'm not, I can't really speak to what it is you're asking me to say because you can't tell me the part that you disagree okay. with. But so how let tall, me connect but how, how tall are you? Right, she's. I'm 5'7. All right. What's the average height for an American woman? I don't know. Maybe 5'4, five, 5'5. Five, five? Right. So when you have a woman who's 5'2 wanting a man 6'5. <laughs> right. Right. Makes no sense. That doesn't make sense. No, I get it. No, I, I understand what you're saying, right. but I want to try to tie it into your topic for tonight, which is, is it, is it really is, is settling quote unquote? Well, it's is all, is, is all this stuff is, is all the stuff that's going on right now. Better. Uh, it, is it better than dying alone? Would you rather do something else or is this good for you? Go ahead. Well, I guess I wanted to ask about that because it, for me, I mean, I feel like I'm I'm a fairly attractive woman. There so it is. to me, I, I have men approaching me all the time okay. that I don't find myself attracted to, but okay. they're good guys. Okay. So asking the question of someone like me, is it better to die alone? I have a lot of pride, and so well. You I know mean, what I'm they say? Are, are you where are you where are you what do you live? What state? I'm in Atlanta. Well, you know, dear, this is the South, and they say pride cometh before the fall. I know. I knew you were going to say that well, because it it's true. Now, she's in Atlanta. If any of you have ever been to Atlanta, you will know it's like ten to one, female to male. A lot of women down there. A lot of women. And you know the struggles with the men, a lot of them on the down low, a lot of them just gay or trans or whatever. They, you know, that's the homeland of that stuff. So it's going to be hard dating in Atlanta to find a good dude because every woman wants him. Now, she says she's so pretty, but the dudes that come to her are not the dudes she wants. And see, and that's the thing, too. Because the dudes that do have something going on don't think she's all that. That's what she needs to understand. Even though she walk around and thinks she's cute, yeah, some regular dudes trying to holler at you, but it's something else about you that tells them that, no, nah, you're just not, you, you, you're cute, but you're not something. So it's something with her that's not attracting these higher level guys. Just because you're pretty, that don't mean every guy wants you. They see other things in you, see how you move, how you talk. I mean, a lot of stuff. If you tat it up, got a <clears throat> hey, got a plethora of kids running behind you when you're going in and out the stores. They pay attention to all that stuff. So I don't I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's let's see what she got though. True, because do do respect, man. You may be an attractive 41, but holler at me when you're 65. I know. And you're 41. So you may be cool with being I'm asking a very real question because I I come from a family of beautiful women and I they they don't look what they used to. Yeah. They don't look what they used to. And do you have any children? I do. All right. Well, uh, how, how many? A lot. <laughs> I did. What the hell is I that? I have four. I have four. Two of them are grown though. Okay. Well. Well, you still have them. Right. Yeah, uh, for the whole dying alone is in, typically includes women who don't have children because in your latter years, who's going to care for you? 
No, that's valid. I, I, can I ask a question? Do sure. you find that as women age and maybe as men age, they become less concerned about um, how attracted they are physically to someone and that it becomes more about friendship or something else, something that's well, more tangible? Well, there needs to be, it, it, it's not a, it's not as hot and heavy probably when you're younger but it still has to be there. But but here's the thing, ma'am. No man wants to be a man you settle for. And one of the things right. I, I really right. have an issue with, I be personally, uh, far too many sisters got a lot of ego and pride. Yeah. And guess what? Yeah. Let me, let me just say this. Let me just give you an example. Would you I don't to... want to be. But the just, man, just... A man would choose me. I know you agree with this. I don't. Uh, like now she's talking over him. See. But what I want to get in there is. What he's saying is a lot of them have pride. And I'm going to tell you next time y'all look at something, even if it's online, when they go to a brunch, pay attention how many dudes are there. They know. They should know now. Men don't go to brunches. Just not our thing. The dudes that there probably came with their girl, girl talked them into it. But majority of guys don't go to brunches. But they hold a brunch all the time and get mad because dudes don't show up. But look at all these women that's alone that shows up in these things. And then watch how they start acting. They start getting up. As soon as the music come on, twerking and holding on the furniture, sticking their butts out, dancing. I'm like, what the world is going on? These are grown 30, 40-year-old women doing this. Holding on the furniture so they don't fall over so they can twerk. If you got to hold on the furniture to twerk, it's just time to stop twerking. Let's just be real. But we see this all the time. Dudes do not go to stuff like that. Just a lot of lonely women looking for, they can get some higher paying job dudes. They're going to come up there for brunch and pay for all y'all food and go back home. No. Nah. They caught on to it. Like, <clears throat> no, y'all just need us there to pay for the, your brunch, pay for your champagne and all this mimosas that you're going to drink, and then you're going to go home. They're not showing up for that mess. So, like this chick, you you got too much pride. You keep talking about men want men keep coming to you, but they're not the men that you want. So you still gonna be alone. I'm gonna talk over you. I said I know you'll agree with this that a man chooses a woman based on what she says about him, right? He's not gonna just pick anyone. So man, I feel on, what is she on, talking about? Right? You didn't answer. You asked me a question. You let me answer. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I didn't hear you. No, a man you keep talking. A woman based upon cooperation. Really? I heard you say that before, but it's just it's not just cooperation, though. I didn't say it was just cooperation, but it's at the top. Look, ma'am. It wasn't what children. she said. OK. Have you were you married to any one of the fathers? Yeah. OK. I would like to know which who one. Ran, who was in charge of the relationship? Oh, in charge. She was. Um, he, you were. I didn't choose well, so okay. I can't really what answer that question in a way that's going to make sense. All right. How many children do you have with them? Four. Cool. Okay. But I didn't. Re I didn't come to my senses until. No. Number four. No. So, no. so let, let's no. so let's back no. out of this. So let's not let's make this not you. You can't have four kids spread out years with one man and then say I chose poorly. You chose poorly and had four kids with this man. <sighs> Y'all got to come on, man. Come on. Okay. If you say you didn't choose well and you didn't come to your senses to number four, right? That seems like a, a, a self-awareness and somebody who can kind of understand what the market is. But that would also, sure. but that also seem to make you a little bit more uh, humble. I am. No, I am. I am. But you still but... say you have pride and ego. Because Kevin, come on, I'm not just going to pick it or if just because he picks me doesn't mean I want to pick him. Well, Listen dear, to this. Man. Here's what you got. This you got is four kids. You can do what you choose to. Like I said, 
Well, I don't. <laughs> and here's the thing. Uh, do you have sons or daughters? Both. The daughter's the oldest. Right. And how old are the sons? Uh, 17, 11, 9. 17, 11, 9. So you got a nine. Those boys so you got three at the to house to come take leave their wives and their children to take care of their mama because mama is prideful. Ma'am. I see that right now. I, I talked about this a uh, few months ago. It's a few mothers around here that um they didn't set their sons up to go to college. And it's easy to go to college nowadays. I mean, we got community colleges here and everything. So the money ain't right. You can do that. But didn't push none of her kids to go off to school. Got them all still living around the house with her. Um, just doing nothing. Some little petty jobs. And she be bragging on them all the time. Every time they do the smallest thing, she bragging how they going to take care of mama. They say work, working at Walmart and shit like that. But they're gonna take care of mama. Mama gonna be all right. That's the that's the that's the that's the thing. Mama gonna be all right. That's what my man, my that what my little man say. And then they out here talking about their sons. You would think it's their man. Bragging about how they cooking them breakfast and fixing them food and doing all this stuff. We going out, hanging out, shopping. You would think they talking about their dude, but no, it's their sons. They're grown sons. So they don't want them to go away anywhere because they will be alone. You see what I'm saying? They're not trying to have them go nowhere because they will be by themselves and they can't, they can't stomach it. They don't know what to do. So they make sure they stick around. So y'all women, y'all, y'all trip, y'all trip. You seem like a nice lady, but all somebody has to do to really change your fortune is if you're involved in a car accident and you're just, I mean, do, I mean, come on. You're what, right about that. What, you're right. You're right. So, and at 41, men of four kids, I'm like, what, what, why are men so, and here's why I'm, I'm, I'm really curious for a woman who is an attractive woman. Why are men so low value to you? Right. Um, have you ever dated a man worth a damn? I think I'm well. No, I'm. They're good Whoa. guys. So I'm not saying that they're not good guys. Whoa, you know, David, a man just, worth a damn. Well, yeah, but no, I'm, I think no. I'm just being too picky, and I already know. You know what I said earlier about it was something about her. That's what it is. You can tell women that they move differently. They just move different. She she moves like she hangs out with low caliber dudes and it shows she probably thinking she looking fancy and whatever she probably got some you know walk around with fake bags on you know everything you're just not there it's just not there you can tell that she just running the motion she's just doing it she's just doing it like you don't live that life you're not about that life but you know like i said you got four kids and Three of them probably still at the house. And you're 41 years old. Then you're talking about you chose poorly. But you had four kids with this man. Well, I don't don't break me over the coals. I know. I'm just, not but, I'm, but I'm curious is because it, you you come across to me as a woman, especially, especially when I see the lady with the short haircut and everything. I mean, this is the land of thing. And I'm like, all right, that's so many, that's many women walking around here who you, you're attractive, but all right, man, but Okay, but what else? It's like you didn't pick well with the with the first with your with your child's father, and it's not, I guess, I'm not hearing that you pick that you're not getting chosen by men that you admire. Um. Right. Well, I guess first on that note, I'm new to Atlanta. I've just been here in, since July. Okay, so well, regardless, I mean, really, I've gotten out the the few times that I've gotten out since COVID, I haven't had any issues. But my, um, no, my point is, ma'am, you're 41. Have you ever been with a man worth a damn, meaning a man that you admire? Oh, um, no. Y yes, no. but there's always something, Kevin. They but he yeah. doesn't communicate, or he's not emotionally available. There's mean? something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Was this before kids or after kids? This is recent. This is my oh, last. Let me let me, let me let me stop. This is why I said therapy is so necessary. Let me just go ahead and pull it all the way back. Man, at 41, you may have a lot of pride and high self-esteem, but I don't think you can walk on water. No. Like she has sure. no issues. No issues, Oftentimes, right? Oftentimes women want men to be. Were your mother and father married? Yes. Was your were you, were you raised in the house with your father? I was. Uh, uh, they, were they married? Are they still alive? Yes. They're not married anymore, though. Okay. So you can choose who you choose, man. But it doesn't really seem to me as though you have really a high estimation of men, period. Why not? Why do you say that? Well, I got other calls to get to, but I'm just saying that, look, you can't find there's always one. something wrong. <laughs> but my question is, if I asked all the men you dated who okay. you are, I, I'm quite sure I would get war and peace. They right, would right, say that I'm demanding. Right. And why? Why are you so demanding? Exactly. Why am I so demanding? Yeah. Why are you so why are you why? Why are you so demanding? Can't answer. I don't. I'm just spoiled. That's all. Uh, no, but no, but I'm very no, no, sweet, no. and I take uh, very no, good no, care no, of No, no, no. Let me let me stop that right there. I feel like be, it's oh, a don't stop. Nope. Okay, so she didn't really go nowhere else with this. But how can you be high demanding and sweet? You ever have somebody that's constantly a high demand person? They're not sweet because they they become a little aggressive because they want what they want, and they act a fool to get it. So they're not sweet. That's why she, like I said, it's something with her. It might be how she look at people, how she look people up and down, how she try to have a smug attitude about herself. Like, ladies, you guys walk around as if nobody should even look in your direction sometimes. I'm t the look on y'all face that y'all have they call that rest and be face. Majority of y'all walk around with that. So when the guys that's got something going on, when they see that, like, I don't even feel like being bothered with it. They see a girl over there, all nice, shiny, smiling, speaking. Oh, yeah, I'm going to talk to her. I don't have time to deal with this over here. Not that, that angry face stuff. Because she's trying to show everybody not to play with her. So that's how we look at that. When you see that rest and be face, all that's telling me is, don't mess with me. I don't play. Nobody got time for all that. Getting together is supposed to be fun. Have a good time. Not deal with that. Well, guys, y'all let me know what y'all think on this, man. Hit me in the comments. Um, like I said, make sure you like the video. And let's get this conversation started. I'm going to do a few more of these um, Kevin Samuels. And uh, let's, just, let's just get the conversation started again. All right? And it's your boy, and I'm up out of here. Y'all take care. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.